Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today, I am going to be doing a Shein haul. I did recently upload a Shein haul on my channel about a month ago. I will list it down below if you want to check that out. But this one is a little bit different because everything in this haul is leopard print. I am super obsessed with leopard print, so I thought it would just be a fun idea to dedicate a, a whole video to everything leopard. And of course, I picked up everything on Shein. One of my favorite places to shop yes. at. If you are new here, my name is Alex Celine. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so you know about any future uploads. But yeah, enough talking. I'm just gonna get straight into it. The first thing here is this bag. They did package it really well. It has a lot of plastic on it and a little cloth so it doesn't get scratched up and get dusty. This bag was $30. I believe it's like the most expensive thing that I picked up in this haul. This is the bag here. This really beautiful baby pink shade. I don't have any bags this size and I just love that the pink is not too on your face. It's very subtle like a baby pink. Also the leopard print is not too much. It just has like a hint of it here. I'm super happy that I picked it up. This is the bag. It has a little zipper here. I really love the opening. You just kind of push this up and pull this part out. The main reason why I wanted this bag is because I like how sectioned it was. So it has like two little compartments here. So this is the inside as you can see. It has two compartments on it which I like. It also comes with this strap if you want to wear it as a crossbody. So I love that they have that option included. And the next thing are some sunglasses. I love to have a lot of sunglasses just so I can like switch it up. I like that they kind of wear an ombre effect, kind of fades into the leopard print. Most of the glasses are black and it's kind of like a cat eye shape. I don't have anything like this. Most of my ones that I have are kind of squared. These were $4 and I love that the lens are not super dark. They have a good tint to them. I'll go ahead and try them on. They're not too dark. You can still see my eyes. But then I do have this vanity lights. So maybe that's why they're a little bit brighter out in the sun. I think they'll work fine. If you haven't bought sunglasses from Shein, all of them do come with a cloth to clean them and a little case, which is very convenient. So you know that your glasses are not going to get scratched up. They also come in a little package as well. The next thing is this pink pajama set. Oh, it's this leopard pajama set. I did pick it up in a size medium. So it has like little heart design within it a very comfortable soft material very lightweight this one did come with shorts i wanted to get the shorts option because even if i get hot within the night i have to have a blanket on me so shorts is always a good option for me these are the shorts here they have like a, a elastic waist i think they'll fit me fine and this set of pajamas was eight dollars the next thing here are these leopard thongs. This is a three pack. They were $8. I did pick it up in a size large. So we have the regular brown color. And it also comes with this purplish pink tone. And then a, a white one. So you get three for $8. But well, they do have like a line in here, which I like. Next are these leopard print nails. This is the brand that I usually buy my nails. These ones that I have here are also from Shein and it's the same brand. They are really great quality and they last a long time. And it's kind of a French tip. They come with 24 nails in the pack and this pack was only $2. Always love to stock up on Shein nails um, whenever I film videos. Usually I try to have my nails done. I don't really get my nails done at a shop because honestly it is expensive maintaining them so i'd rather just use press-ons i really don't like having long nails unless i'm filming for a video so yeah thanks to shein i am covered when it comes to nails next is this makeup bag it does have a little handle here also it has two zippers um it's not sectioned off but it just has two sides you can open this is just like the whole compartment inside you can open it from either side to access the whole bag this was eight dollars for this bag um i feel like it's a pretty good size definitely could fit a lot of products in here sometimes when i'm on the go i like to do my makeup in the car so this will definitely come in handy for that so i really like the gold hardware on it next thing are these leopard fluffy slippers i was in need of some new slippers so yeah, I decided to get these. If you're gonna see fuzzies flying all over because of the shoes, but yeah, I decided to get these. They're so, so soft. I love the little detailing, how they're crisscrossed here on the front. And this one is a, the leopard print and then just the brownish tone here on this strap. Also, the sole is rubber, so you can wear these outside. They're not gonna get all wet. 
at the bottom. I did pick them up in a 36, 37. These slippers were $12. I have some more nails. These are like a black French tip. These were $3. I haven't tried out this brand before, but I love the detail. Like some of them have little rhinestones there at the center. The next thing is this a top satin top. It's almost like a light pink. On the website, it is the shade apricot. And to pick it up in a size medium, this was five dollars. It does have the adjustable straps here, so you can adjust it to how you like. I'm sure it'll be really comfortable. I haven't tried it on yet. But it kind of just drapes here in the front. So you could kind of either dress it up or just wear it casual if you'd like. And next is this leopard headband. It has this bow detail in here. It has this really a soft material on the inside of it. This was a $2. Sometimes your makeup tends to stain them. So I definitely was in need of another one. The next thing is this phone case here. It's this leopard phone case. Um, it does have like fur on it so it has like a texture to it very soft and then it has like the rubber inside this was a dollar fifty for this case they definitely have a lot of cases to choose from i kind of had to like pump the brakes a little bit and not order a lot of them because i knew that apple was coming out with a new iphone this year so i didn't want to have like an abundant amount of phone cases for my 12 pro if i plan on upgrading to the 14 so i kind of had to like stop myself from ordering any cases for my 12. the next thing is this a leopard sticker this was a dollar so these are for your chargers it doesn't specify like what kind of charger it just says compatible with a charger head so i don't know if it's gonna fit the charger that i have next is this hair roller tool it's a, a six piece set it comes with a little scrunchie it has two scrunchies and it has two of these little alligator clips this is acrylic claw clip a light pink color and then it has the little roller i'm not sure how to use this but it just has like this silky material on it i never used one of these before but i definitely want to try it out just to kind of achieve a curl while going to sleep because i do go to sleep with my hair wet a lot after i get out the shower so this will kind of like save me some time I sleep with this and i'll have those curls in the morning it also comes with like a little instruction of how to apply it. Then I have another purse here. So it's just this cute little shoulder bag. I like the texture that it has on the bag. This is what the inside looks like. There's no pockets or anything. Um, it's just like one big compartment. Next up is this hair towel. It's a pretty decent size. The material feels really nice. Very soft, almost like a blanket. It is pretty long. So if you have long hair, it should fit your hair perfectly. Mine is pretty long, so I'm sure that all of it is going to fit in here. The next thing are these black leopard biker shorts. They are like ribbed material. And I picked these up in a size large. They feel very lightweight and breathable material. Nothing too thick. I don't know if they're going to be see-through or not. When holding them up like this, they are a little bit sheer. But yeah, those are $6. The next thing are these leopard dangly earrings here. They were $2.50. I don't know if they're going to be too heavy for my ears. They do kind of feel a little bit heavy. I did have gauges, so if I wear any kind of heavy earrings, it does droop a lot on my ears. So I don't know if these will droop or not, but they were really pretty. I wanted to go ahead and get them, and they were super affordable. Next is another set of nails. Um, I did see that one of them is missing right here. Might have just moved it around in the box, but these are like a dusty pink tone. These were at $2.00. The next thing is this a leopard print breather t-shirt. It just has like the black accent here on the collar and the sleeves. And I picked it up in a size medium. So it's very breathable material. I love the brown tones. Next up are some more sunglasses. These were super cute. I saw them and I was like, okay, they're not my style, but I have to get them because they're just too freaking pretty to pass up. So as you can see, it does come packaged all around so it does not get scratched. And these were $8, so it has these like little leopard detailing here with the gold hardware. And I love the two-toned of these glasses. I don't have anything this color. Um, I don't know, I just love the style to them. I'm not sure if I like how they look on me. Maybe it's just because like my hair is not done. 
and I need some like volume because they are pretty wide for me. I do have a narrow face, but I love the lens color and just the whole design of these glasses. Very nice quality for $8. Couldn't pass them up. The next thing is this liquid oven mold. So it has an oven glove and a pot pad. So this is what it looks like here. It's not really a brownish tone. It's almost like a greenish tone. So I decided just to have that up. It's always good to have extra mittens for the oven. They have a weird smell to it. I think they need to be washed for sure because they're going to they stink. But... Yeah, there's that. I have another set of pajamas. These are just satin ones and love me some browns. Browns are my favorite color. So I picked this set up in a size medium as well. It's very breathable, soft, comfortable material to sleep in. Did I go ahead and pick up another phone case? I just got two. So like I said, I do plan on getting the 14. So I just wanted to limit myself. And I love this little detailing here with the chain strap. So it feels like a really great material, great quality. I picked up this set of earrings. It does come with six pairs. And they're like a, an acrylic material. Very lightweight, which is a plus for my ears. The next thing is this bodycon dress. It is a long sleeve dress. And it has this fuzzy leopard print pattern on the collar. And also on the sleeves. It is extremely soft and comfortable. And honestly, this dress is very high quality, durable material. It is like a ribbed knit dress. And this was $22, but I did get it for $7. I believe it was on sale. It also has this zipper here, so you can kind of open it up. It doesn't show too much if you have it all the way unzipped. But this has a good weight to it. I'm telling you, it's really good quality. It is not too short. I love like the blush accent in the background of the leopard print. It really makes the leopard print pop so i have these sunglasses here they're more of a round shape these were seven dollars but i feel like they were more expensive because of the hardware it's like a gold hardware so go ahead and try these on see how big they are i mean well these are cute i like how these look i think i probably like these the most out of the other two that i got these look really cute okay so we are down to the last thing in this haul it's this blue leopard print backpack here it does have the black strap also has a pocket here to access the inside of the bag a little zipper here so it's a little pocket here if you can put something on the front but i do have two boys so i was like okay this is the perfect diaper bag for me because it is blue for my boys it is not too big it's just like the right size oh cool it does have a pocket here on each side i want to put something in there this is the main pocket actually there's no opening in the front okay so you can only access it from the back it does have another pocket here on the back and it does come with a, another strap if you want to attach it but yeah it's kind of different i never had a bag like that where you only can go through the back of it um but yeah still really pretty bag so yeah that is the last thing that is the end of this haul i hope you enjoyed it let me know down below what's your favorite from this haul also don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching this video and take care until next time bye